Well, hello there, ladies and gentle hands. Welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft, episode five. Hope y'all are doing well. Now, what am I doing? Obviously, I'm fishing, but why am I fishing so high up? It's the most convenient. <laughs> The real reason why I'm fishing though is not for these fish. I don't need cod. I want a mending book and I don't want to do villagers because I do villagers every time, but it's also the most convenient for a reason. Oh, a saddle. That's pretty good. But yes, this is my little fishing outpost I just set up between episodes and this is my loot so far. Uh, but I, I got this fishing rod and I got some books. The looting two book, not too bad to be honest, but I wish it was mending, but in today's episode i have some good plans i want to do a lot of building this time around i want to make a nice little alley side they kind of fill up the side of the mountain um i think i want to do like three different buildings here and they're gonna be like all different kind of uh block pallets just to kind of differentiate from the tan and now the i guess the brown brownish red and yeah i want to try some different like they're kind of they're gonna be like storefronts right and each of them is going to have their own function. We'll get into it more when I start building. Uh, then I have plans to build something right over where this torch is. Uh, won't go into that yet, but that will be a fun one to make. And we might need to address our storage situation because this storage room has treated me quite well. I'm not going to lie, but we're running out of room. So we might need to figure out what we're going to do there. I might do something going underground. I might just try to throw a few more chests in here. Like, you know, I could put two chests right here. I don't want this whole room to be a chest monster though. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. So yeah, I've been gathering up the resources for these three builds and I think we're just about ready to hop into a beautiful time-lapse of me working on these builds. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a sandwich and let the building begin. Yes, our final product. I am so, so happy with this final product. I love how these buildings look, especially at like this angle right here. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. We came up with some unique palettes here and I wanted to do three different palettes to kind of just kind of break up the mold that we got going on here. So we got our first building here using a bone block and the sandstone palette, kind of similar to these ones, but just a little different. Also went with these blue trap doors, the warped trap doors, just to add a little bit of color to these because they all have like their their color, right? So this building's kind of like white and blue. Then we got our brick building here, which is like a br uh, like a red brick and the green. And I love the look of this one. The storefront on this one is awesome. And so is this one. This one's more of like a, I guess like a gray, red, and a little bit of dark brown. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to go with like a black and red kind of idea here. And I just love how these look so much. And I did a little bit of the interior, AKA I made the walls. <laughs> Eventually I do want to make these uh, functional, like maybe this building's where my enchantment setup is. And then this one's like a little micro farm. Like, I don't know yet, but we'll throw some stuff in here and there'll be something to do in each of these buildings. I also really like what I did right here. It kind of adds a little bit of shape to this, uh, the staircase that connects up to the front door on this building. Yeah, the walls just create a nice little uh, like rounded off edge there. But yes, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I absolutely, I'm just in love with these. I need to definitely make a bit more variety in our palettes in this town. Like this definitely has opened up my eyes into having more variety in our block palettes. All right, guys, I think I have our next project in mind. We're gonna be going into the nether. Ooh, scary. And I wanna make a blaze farm. But we got a few steps in this process. So the first step is we need to make a brewing stand. Luckily, that's pretty easy. Boom, boom, bang. Um, now our problem, we need to make fire resistance potions because I want to be safe in the nether because it's going to be scary. So I think we'll have to go find some magma cubes and get their cream. Actually, hold on real quick. We're going to see if we can get, we're going to enchant these boots. Oh my God, we did it. And boom. 
Now we can finally tank some fall damage. Okay, so we're gonna go to the nether and we're gonna get some magma creams for fire resistance potions. And then we're gonna come back, brew up those potions. And then we're gonna go back to the nether and we're gonna make a blaze farm. Why are we making a blaze farm? Because a blaze rods, I want them. I want lots of blaze rods. Okay, we're in the nether again. There's always a skeleton there, I swear on my mother. Oh, I sh- Oh. We're going back again, I need a shield. That's like necessary for anything. Go, go, go. Okay, now we're officially ready. <laughs> okay, we're in the fortress now. Now we need magma cubes. Any magma cube, guys? Here we go. I think the blaze spawners are over here. Okay, we have our blaze spawner and I brought, I got a little glowstone and I believe we can just light this up and now they can't spawn, which is exactly what we need right now because we have to clear out a big old area around this. All right, we finished clearing out our little room here for our blaze farm. And I'm actually thinking because this is a fairly safe location, I might not need our fire resistance potions like I thought. I also have fire protection on this helmet, uh, which helps a lot with dealing with these blazes in general. And this little grid I did of uh, glowstone disables the spawner. So that makes our lives a little bit easier, but I do need to grab some lava. And I think we also need a crafting table because I might need to craft up some slabs of sorts. Yeah, there's a few more like supplies that we're missing. Like obviously we need some hoppers and probably a few more chests for the blaze rods to go into. And I think we need some vines too. It's kind of a strange farm, but yeah, some vines hanging down from here. And I think it's all good from there. I feel like I need an easier way to get to this area. Let's, okay. So I believe if we break down these walls, this should connect up to our main area. So now we have a safe route to get to our blaze farm if we come from our starting area and we follow our torches we go boop cut her right here go up these stairs again now we just go straight and there's our blaze farm right here our access to it yeah it's not too bad that's pretty good okay let's go find let's actually just go back to the overworld i need some vines and slabs and all the other jazz so let's just go back and do that wow look at me craft 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 i love crafting Wow, look at the way I craft here. Hold. Okay, we're back at our farm and I have all of the necessary stuff and including this crafting table. Oop, there we go. But yes, we should be ready now to set up our farm. So first, let's do these vines. I believe we just do some vines like these. Let me make them too deep. We put some slabs down right here and then some trap doors there. Okay, we just need to place down our lava, I think. And then we're done. I should be able to place down a lava. Run away. Oh, look at that. It's actually perfect, right? Oh yeah, it's perfect. Okay, place down this one. Uh-oh. All right, cool. It's all aligned beautifully. Um, I think we just gotta start breaking our spawners. How am I gonna get out though? I guess I'll just try to break a way out. So, let's get my escape plan ready. Oh, perfect. Okay, I can do something like this. I can just run. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, don't mind me. Thank you. One last one. Okay, break the platform. Oh, there's a little pillar there. Ah, oh, shoot. More spawning. Okay, okay, I got rid of it. Oh, oh my God. I think we did it. I think we did it. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Is our spawner functional? I think we're good. So I can stand here and smack these fellas around. Ooh, yes. And then we get blaze rods. We got three so far, plus some I killed earlier. We got 11. Now that we have a blaze farm up and running, that means we have a new fuel source, which means we should make a, a super smelter. But first, I'm gonna AFK here for a little bit, gather up some of these blaze rods. I want a nice little supply of this, maybe like a row, you know, nine stacks at least. We'll see what we can pull off. The amount of levels I've gotten from this farm is actually crazy. 51. And in here, we've gotten about five stacks of blaze rods. Not too bad. I guess I'll bring those with me. Yeah, that farm is super, super good. Oh, this is also a farm now, isn't it, huh? But yeah, our new blaze farm is like a really, really, really good XP farm. I didn't even think about that when I made it. I kind of just wanted a lot of blaze rods to use for our fuel source in a smeltery. But... 
the XP is a uh, is way better than our spider farm. So I might start coming out here to get our high levels. But it is dangerous. Like look at look at this rickety path I've made. And back home, ah uh, yes, our beautiful valley. Okay, so our plan now that we have all of our blaze rods from our blaze farm is to make a blacksmith. Yes, yes indeed. I'm gonna make a little blacksmith building right here in this plot. I've kind of shaped it out a little bit. It's gonna be a nice and simple building here. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that the building can fit all of our furnaces. If not, we'll we'll dig a little deeper. Uh, but yeah, it'll be a nice little blacksmith building where I can walk up and I can dump off my stuff I want smelted, and then like I can come over here and grab it all. Um, yeah, the build looks pretty sick. So, ladies and gentle hands, get ready for a time lapse. And here it is, ladies and gentle hands, our brand new blacksmith build. I hope you guys like it. I had a fun time building this one. Uh, the texturing is uh, was a lot of fun. I haven't like done a stone texturing in a while and kind of missed it. I'm not gonna lie. Like these andesite blocks, like these polished ones, go so well with bricks. They look like big bricks. <laughs> and then also, of course, the brick texturing. I loved what I did with the um, with this build. I don't know, I just, the texturing is so subtle and I think I need to incorporate some more mud bricks. I didn't even think about those. Oh my gosh. But yes, here is it. it oh, actually looks really good from this angle. Oh, I like that a lot. A nice custom tree would look beautiful right there. Maybe we'll do that this episode. But I do want to do some more detailing because obviously this build's not quite finished. I did all the texturing, uh, but it needs, you know, the finer details like the windows and maybe some hanging signs and some knickknacks all around. So I thought I'd do some of that on camera here, but it is gonna be a lot of me running around. So we'll find out if that is good here. But I do want to use the new copper blocks. Um, I haven't actually really used copper at all. I have two stacks smelted and I have a stack of raw copper. How would one get the trap doors? Don't tell me it's blocks of copper here. Oh my gosh, this is highway robbery. What? Two, two copper trap doors. Oh, I need six. Oh, that's so painful. That's such a, that is two stacks of copper. These, these four trap doors are two stacks of copper. Highway robbery. All right, well, we'll work with it. I do want the, uh, the more like weathered copper. And I think the only way for me to do that is to place these down and wait for it to rust or, or oxidize. Is that the word? And then right here is gonna be our input slot. So I'm thinking we can throw some walls right there and then maybe a wall or two here. And then right here on the insert, I wanna put the fancy chiseled one. That looks cool, I like that. But yes, this will be our input. Uh, we'll like have a minecart chest or something right here. We can just right click it, throw all of our items in and it'll send off into the system. But we won't, uh, I'm not gonna do any redstone right now because uh, I can't be bothered. All right, let's place down our trap doors. Um, I guess I can place these down, right? And then, oh man, this is why scaffolding's the worst. There we go. Nice, and then we just need two more for the top part. So we'll leave all that stuff there. And ba-bam, there it is. Now, how does that look? I, I mean, we get the, oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Those look really good. <laughs> Once those oxidize even to like the third stage, I think that's where I might uh, wax them. Uh, those will look awesome. Th the texture on those is is really good. Holy crap. I could also do the window that we have on the... Ooh, maybe I do that. Maybe I do a window like we have on the alley side. All right, let's install our window here. Boom, boom. Right to there. We do three glass panes just like that and some in front and i love this texture it looks this is b-dubs inspired by the way shout out b-dubs the connected glass here it kind of makes it look like a full like a window frame right and the middle part is just like two layers of glass and the glass connecting it's perfect i love it and yeah we used it in the alley side over there 
And I think it's a nice little touch here. We might want to use those copper trap doors on the outside here to be like a shutter. That might be pretty cool. But yeah, let's do a little bit more decorating down here. I just got to think of some stuff. Hmm. Well, first, we should probably add a install a floor here of some salts. All right, so right around the furnace, it needs to be pretty, like, bricked up. <laughs> yeah, it just needs to have a little bit of brickage around here, just so it, you know, feels like it's sturdy and it's, like, built into the ground a little bit. So we'll do some of this right here. And I don't want too much symmetry. Just like this, I think. And then we can fill in the rest with bricks maybe we bring it out just a little bit over here too yeah there we go that's pretty good all right and then just around it we will throw up some of these just a little bit not too much and of course the main entrance needs to have its pathway oh i really want to oh i'll do it i'll do it i really want to install these paths going around and it's time it's time for me to actually do it Maybe we want to blend in our brick a little bit with the mud we got going on here. So we'll break a few of these, even if it's just a little bit. Are there such things as deep slate buttons? Oh, come on. I don't know how good these are going to look, but I want them just to, just to kind of, uh, it's, I think we need to do the, the deep slate ones, but we'll do these buttons for now. Um, just to, as a filler, maybe. <laughs> All right, these dark oak buttons are going to have to do for now. Uh, well, eventually, we'll get some black stone, but I don't really have a good way to get it. And I have not seen a, uh, a basalt delta yet. And I think that's like the only spot you can really get them. But yeah, we'll come back to those. We'll replace them. But for now, use your imagination. Just imagine they're a little bit um, less brown. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got our little pads connected in. I love... Uh, dude, I wish nighttime was safer around here. Because I love how nighttime looks in this village. Oh, ugly mangrove tree. <laughs> All right, we got our outside decorated. I do want to install an anvil, an official anvil. Yeah, there's pretty good. I'm kind of thinking we could install a little shelf right here. Oh, yeah, I like how that looks. Put our stone cutter there. And then maybe we put a flower pot there. And then we can kind of stagger it and do something right here. And we could do maybe a crafting table right there. Nice. Yes. Okay. This is good. And on this side, we need to put in some lights. So let's hang a little lantern. Maybe like right here. Just right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Another lantern right here. Oh, now it's looking really lively. And maybe another shelf right over here with a flower pot and maybe another crafting table. You may underestimate how often I run around for crafting tables. Oh, no. Fixed. I mean, the grindstone could just line up with those. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Then we got two anvils, a grindstone, our stone cutter, some crafting tables. We just need some flowers. The fern can go over here and the azure can go right there. Maybe we, here, let's try to install some hanging signs because I love how they look. So maybe right above this, we have a chain right there and then we can put like Fernars. <laughs> yes, it's the Fernars. <laughs> What else could I decorate this with? I mean, okay, let's do a decorated pot for Shosh. I mean, what if I put one there? Yeah, that might be pretty good. I don't have to put anything in it. I just needs to kind of take up a little bit of space. Yeah, I think this outdoor area is looking a lot better now. We have our ins insert here for the Fernars. That's going to be the name of our, <laughs> our super smelter. Uh, and then this will be mostly a maintenance access just to be like, hey, what the F is going on with our thing? Yeah, we're definitely not to make this super smelter down underground. <laughs> and then we need to find a place to have our outputs. So I could just like throw this in the wall. I mean, I also could just throw it right here, literally. And then we can just throw, yeah, let's just throw this on here. Output. Shows our output and we can, you know, funnel up some hoppers and figure out that system right there. And then we'll have our input right here. Oh yes, I'm very excited for this. I think that looks really good. I do want to add, maybe we should try to add some more hanging, uh, pots or something like that from the side of the building here. Let's grab some trap doors and let's see. We can put a little, a little lantern right here. That makes sense. And maybe right here we can have a little chain that hangs down with a flower pot in there and cool. Yeah, this side of the building is a bit plain, but I'm hoping that when we, when we throw up a tree over here, when we build a tree, uh, it'll kind of help cover up that section. And especially when you're coming out of the cave here, if this is kind of covered with some greenery here, then this will look really good. But it already looks super good how it is right now. Ooh, I love it. 
I love it. Guys, look at the view from up there. Isn't it awesome? Like, we have an actual village now. Like, we have our building over there. And then we have our new alley size. It, like, this whole line of buildings we have going on is now all filled up. And it looks so good. I mean, once we start getting some some trees in here and then we start expanding out towards this direction over here like it's gonna oh, this whole village is gonna really fill out and i'm very happy with the direction we've been taking in case you didn't get the angle here is our final product of our blacksmith i might add a bit more off camera you never know but i'm super happy with how this looks i love the copper windows there's a chance i might leave it that kind of color but we'll give it some time we'll see what it looks like in the other stages Going to the, wait, I guess we got to make a path right here. Real quick, real quick. Well, bam. <laughs> here is our little path up to our nether portal now. It's kind of rough, but I'm okay with that because it kind of, it kind of works, you know? And you know, I and I have my angle too. I can just stand right here in the middle and I go right up. And it, it gets pretty rough right here, especially on the right side. Like if I were to just stick on the right, I'd have to jump once. But if you kind of stay towards the middle here, you go zip, you zip right up. This back area behind our starter house is turning out very well. Once we get this tree in, we might not have to ever touch this area again, to be honest. Um, and then eventually we'll start expanding out this way and a little bit towards this way. The cow pen and the bamboo shoots need to move. Okay, so I want to do a little bit of detailing inside of one of these buildings. I'm thinking the darker building here. And I want to move our enchantment setup down there. Just because I don't like coming down this ladder every time. And maybe we should move our lava here too eventually. What is this? What the heck is this? Have I been getting Enderman griefed? Whatever. Okay, yeah. So we'll move our enchantment setup into that gray building over there. So let's break this all down. There it is, all of our enchantment stuff. I had to bring it with my pickaxe because I don't got silk touch on that thing. But right, let's go move our enchantment setup into this beautiful gray building on the cross here oh yeah and i think we want i want to do a little bit more detailing on this path too because that might look pretty good i have an idea for it too so first let's install the bookshelf enchantment table can go there uh-huh um i guess i could do something like this yeah, it's not too bad there we go okay so let's get some let's bring this dark oak through oh oh whoa I just went into the back rooms. <laughs> okay, and then we'll strip these down. And then we can throw a few bricks right there. Uh-huh, and our trap door right there. So I could put something here. What would I put there? Uh, Some candles. Yeah, a little bit extra light there. Okay, I don't like this grindstone there. Let's move it up here on that shelf. So for now, I don't know if I'll mess with the ceiling too much, but I do want to install our archway. Is that too tall? Three blocks tall. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to handle this side. And uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. And now, yeah, we can do level 30 enchants. So let's throw all of our lapis in there. Um, yeah, I think I want to put a flower pot in there. So let me go grab one. And actually grab a composter here too, and maybe a jungle trap door. I have an idea for uh, like a, a bin, like a trash can, uh, like right here. Yeah, it's a little trash can. Cool. Now when you come in, oh, I like that. When you come in right away. A little bit of flower right there. But it would be cool to like have this whole room full of bookshelves kind of just going around. Uh, so it kind of feels like library-esque. And we can also store uh, with like the chisel bookshelves a bunch of extra books that we might have. And then this will connect up to another uh, kind of storefront here. I don't know what we'll serve in here, but we'll figure that out eventually. <laughs> yeah, I like how this looks. It works. It's functional. Now let's see what we get on the sword. You guys ready for this? Boom, boom. Ew. Nasty. Roll it again. It's the exact sword I just. Oh, knock! Stop giving me knockback. Ew, dude. Oh my. Shoving this four is the best I've gotten so far. Looting two. Give me looting three. Okay, actually. Oh, uh, five. I mean, this one's pretty good. Looting three. I could combine it with our sword here and I could steal that looting three. I might do that. All right, yeah, but let's decorate our road. So I'm gonna craft up a bunch of boatins and a handful of pressure plates. Let's go, yeah, 24 sounds cool. And it's just gonna look like pebbles, you know, like little stones that kind of just, you know, a cobblestone. I don't know, it's gonna be a path, you know? Let's see, how does this feel? Maybe a stone right there. 
There we go. So now when we come up this path, there's just a little bit more to look at than the grass and the and the stone slabs here. I think it's okay. I might mess with it a bit more, but I am a big fan of how it looks. And then we got our trash can and we have all these hanging signs and all the hanging pots. I do want to add a hanging sign here, but I don't have a mangrove sign to put there. All right, let's combine our swords here over at the anvil. I think if I do this one first, it's going to keep my sharpness and add looting three. Cool. So now when we use the blaze farm, we'll get like way more blaze rods. So hopefully that will be useful. I'm level 20 now, so I'll have to grind some levels. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for 300 subs now. We're at 350 as of recording, which is just like insane. I thank you guys for 200 subs last episode and all of a sudden I'm at 300. So the support on this series and just my channel in general, I really am thankful of it. And I really do appreciate you guys leaving comments and all your suggestions, I do read them all. Of course, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe uh, so you get notifications for new uploads. And I think that's about it. Goodbye.